guys, what's up? My name is Megan. Welcome back to Book Talk with Meg. Today is actually Tuesday and it is July 16th. Let me explain. This vlog was supposed to go from last Thursday to Monday, so it would be a weekend reading vlog. And as I was editing, I realized that I lost the intro um, to the vlog. I don't know what happened, but that means I need to film a new intro, so here I am. Um, obviously, like I mentioned, this is going to be a weekend reading vlog that you guys are going to see. And it's also the first vlog in my new house, so I wanted to make a quick recap of what I attempted to vlog but kind of failed at so that you guys can understand what is happening. First off, obviously I moved. I moved around like an hour away from where I am originally from into a new city with my boyfriend. Um, we have this beautiful apartment and I love it very much so as you can see obviously the bookshelves behind me are all brand new and I only brought a selection of books that I had from my old house um, with me. The rest is remaining like at my parents house everything is fine like we're not getting rid of them I am just not getting them with me right now and I can always exchange books as I wish because obviously I don't live that far away that I can't like have any contact with my bookshelf second we got a cat you will see um, clips later on obviously because I love her to pieces we called her Miss Deng which is the French version of Miss Norris the cat in Harry Potter um, she's adorable she's like sitting right there half asleep and I love her to death and so that's like a really cool thing. I'll insert a few clip, like pictures of her right now so you guys can like see. I find that she actually kind of looks like the cat in the Harry Potter that Miss Norris and my boyfriend actually wanted to call her that so I was pretty happy with this choice. So that's a new thing. I don't think there's anything like else that's significant enough to like mention other than I had a book outlet unboxing in my first clip there but it got deleted so let me quickly show you the books I had purchased on book outlet because I was hecka excited I think it's one of my favorite book outlet um hauls ever as you can say and I'm so disappointed just for that reason that the footage was deleted but you know what it's fine let me show you so I got three books, the first one being One Small Thing by Erin Watt, which is super exciting because it's one of her only books that I did not own, and when I mean her I mean them, because it's two different authors, but this one is another YA contemporary, and I think it's YA. Pretty sure it's YA because they write New Adult as well. I don't know much about this, but um, when I was in Mexico I saw that book outlet had one copy of this left like just one copy on the website and I was like oh my god I don't I didn't want anything else I was like do I buy it but it wasn't really worth it it got purchased before I had time to make up my mind the other day I go on book outlet and again they only had one so I put it in my cart and I was like I need to order it right now so as I was frenetically putting this in my cart I also saw that book outlet had one copy of Heroin by Mindy McGuinness which is a significantly new release and a new release I was so excited about. All of these books were sitting in my Amazon cart waiting to be purchased. So I'm very excited I, I got my hands on all of these with like reduced pricing. This one follows um, a girl who is a softball player which for one is very exciting because I played softball for like 10 or 11 years so I kind of know the softball world. And she gets into a car accident and becomes um, dependent on, I don't know if it's like morphine or that kind of drugs, I don't know exactly what, I doubt she's like getting addicted to heroin right away, but I think probably like painkillers or something like that and it will gradually uh, spiral down. I think books about addiction are very very important, I've studied addiction, I have drug classes, criminology and uh, I have like studied people and what drugs can do to them. It's my field of study, it's my field, like I'm passionate about these things so I think that having a YA book that explores such topics as addiction are very important and I can't wait to see what this book um, portrays it as. And I've heard of a lot of people that this book is actually excellent. A lot of members on my Facebook group have read about this and really enjoyed. So I got that one. And lastly, again, influenced by my Facebook group, I got myself a copy of Carval by Stephanie Garber. Um, it only has a little tear, but again, it was the only one on Book Outlet. And they sell off, like hot cookies on a tray when you try to get one. So I think everyone knows what Carval is about. It is a fantasy novel that follows, um, like, the circus and I think like there's two sisters. I know I read this a few years ago and I didn't really enjoy it but as you guys can see by my channel and my channel growth 
um, my reading changed my reading tastes have really changed and so I'm very excited to give this one another shot and I'm very excited to have a physical copy. I also own the audiobook so I might like listen and read at the same time. We'll see. So I think that's all I have for you guys for this intro and as life updates I hope you guys are doing very well and that you enjoy this vlog but yeah I'll catch you guys in literally like one second for you and enjoy the clips. Bye guys! Hello friends! This is update number two for the day. It's still Thursday. It is now 6.35 and I just finished having dinner. My boyfriend came back for like an hour and then he went out with friends so I have the evening for myself. But I came on here mostly because I want to unbox this, well, unpackage this, because this is very, very exciting. This is like my second most anticipated read of the year, and it finally came. Like, I was starting to be really nervous that it wasn't going to come today. I've been waiting all day, and I feel like I'm not productive when I'm waiting for mail. So, I really want to get this on camera because I know it's going to look stunning, and I'm like scared. Oh my god, this is freaking gorgeous. Okay. Is this my favorite cover now? Like, wait a minute. Mmm. These two books are literally my aesthetic. This is Casey West's newest release. It's called Maybe This Time. And look at the freaking spine. And look at the back. Mmm. My precious. And this is my favorite book of hers now, which used to be my favorite cover. I think it still is, just because I like the colors a little bit better, but these two, and like all her spines together, like please, mm. perfection. I'm so hyped for this. What does this look like? Wow! It has this engraved, it says maybe this time, I don't think you guys are going to see it, but oh God. and it's shorter than I was anticipating it to be. Okay! You guys. I can't believe I finally have this book. Like, I was really hesitating between, like, waiting a little bit to pick it up, and sometimes, like, th those books come on sale, but since this was so hyped, both in my head and on Instagram, um, I, like, needed it right now. But the thing is, like, I would want to start reading it right now, but I kind of want to keep it at the same time for, like, a weekend where I'm off, or, like, a day where I have more time. I really don't know what I'm going to do. Like, do I want to pick up another book and then pick this one up? Or do I want to, like, strictly pick this up right now? I kind of don't want to pick it up now because I work for the next four days. But anyways, this is about our main character, who is named Sophie, and she works for the local floors, so she's basically at all the events. And I think this follows her throughout a year, and this other boy who also has to be at all the events. Um, I don't know why. Because he's the, uh, the son of the new chef, so I guess, like, they both go to all the events, so, mm, mm, your girl is happy. So the plan now, I feel like I have so many things to do and it's like 6pm and I wake up at 5 tomorrow. Um, my family's coming over for dinner tomorrow, so that means I have to, like, bake a dessert because we're kind of celebrating my sister's boyfriend's birthday. And he's turning 26 and I wanted to bake something, but at the same time... I kind of don't want to do a bunch of dishes and have to wait for everything in the oven, so I think I might, like, ugh, I don't know, like, I, did, I didn't want to use, like, pre-baked stuff, but I'm, like, not sure if I have a choice. I have to think that one through. I also want to paint my nails. Um, I should be refilming a video. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to do that today. One of them didn't really turn out well. Um, I didn't like the way I looked on it. Uh, on vlogs, I don't really care, but, like, my, my hair was bugging me for some reason in that video. And I want to take a bath, I need to read, I need to make my lunch for tomorrow, and, ooh, take care of this little nugget. Mm, we love her, she's so cuddly. If you guys haven't seen her yet, well actually, I think I introduced her earlier in this vlog, but it's my precious baby. Mm. So yeah, she's actually named after Miss Norris, the... How, like, the, 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 the weird librarian man in Harry Potter. And, yeah. 
I'm just so freaking excited for this. I also ordered a used edition of another Christina Lauren book, so that should be coming in on Saturday. So, yeah, I'm, I'm freaking excited for this book. My precious. I, I have a feeling I won't really be able to wait to read it, but we shall see. I know this is just me blabbering right now, but you know when you get an anticipated release and it looks this great, you have to like rave about it for a few minutes. It says, a one year, nine events, nine chances to fall in love, which... Nine chances. Does it really take nine chances? I don't want there to be just a love story at the end. Come on, Casey West, gotta pull through. Because if this isn't good... Where's your other book? Like, I want this... to redeem itself for this. Because... That, like it was fine, I didn't love it, I want it to be like this level good, you know what I mean? Like there's this level of KCOS and then there's this level of KCOS. So I'm hoping it's more going to gravitate towards this than this because that was the most disappointing KCOS book I've read yet. It was still a 4 star like I said earlier but yeah no, not my fave. And also these covers are so much nicer than that cover, like they, I don't know, they're not always the same in the formatting but I really appreciate those better. I'm gonna go now because I keep feeling like I'm gonna die of anxiety because I'm so busy, but I haven't done anything yet, so... I did film videos today, though. It's not like I've been lazy. <laughs> Hello friends, it is now 10 p.m. I have officially painted my nails, I have showered and made my lunch for tomorrow. My lunch is packed, my breakfast is packed, my work bag, everything is done. The laundry is in the dryer for tomorrow. The only thing I really have left uh, is to bake, but I'm going to do that tomorrow when I, after I get my parents after work. Um, but I wanted to update you guys on my reading plans because I did decide I won't read maybe the, maybe this time by Casey West until Tuesday, which is my next day off. So instead, I decided to pick up Intercepted by Alexa Martin, which is another adult romance. This one was specifically on my July TBR, so is Casey West's book. So I decided I'll pick this up for now and like read a few books before Tuesday, before like I have a day off and fully commit to that book. So this one is about our main character, Marley, who is an NFL um, football uh, girlfriend. She has been for the past 10 years and she is kind of wondering why her boyfriend hasn't proposed to her yet, but it turns out he's been seeing other women on the side and so things go wrong, but I think uh, she had this one night stand with a boy before and he gets drafted on their NFL team and I think they might date her something like that. I'm not, I don't, I don't know, but uh, I read like the first three chapters on the floor near my bookcase because I was like, oh, this one was on my, my TBR, let's see, and it hooked me enough for me to want to read it. So that's the reading for now, very short book, and then I think I'll read One Small Thing by Erin Watt because again, this is another small book and I've been wanting to read it. So these are my plans maybe until Tuesday. We'll see how it goes. If I have more time to read this weekend, great. If I don't, it's okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello friends, it is now Saturday morning. It's like 6.40 a.m. Just parked into work. I have to go in in like 20 minutes, um, but I do live far away from work, so I always get here earlier in, in case there's like traffic. There's not as much on weekends, so it's more convenient. Um, but I wanted to recap a little bit of yesterday because I didn't vlog at all on Friday. Basically yesterday I went into work and then I straight away went to get my parents we drove back to my apartment because they hadn't seen it yet so we had like dinner there and my sister and her boyfriend also came and we celebrated his birthday a tiny bit early and that is pretty much the rundown of yesterday and this morning was a little bit weird um I woke up because of my cat like I think she injured her foot or something um I think it's like it's gonna be fine like she wasn't bleeding or anything but I think it's like sore so my boyfriend's keeping out an eye on her but like she's still eating and she's still like cuddly and whatever it's just I think she's in a little bit of pain I'll see like obviously we're gonna do something about it if anything is to happen but we'll cross our fingers that she'll be fine because my boyfriend says that like cats have a better way of healing themselves than like dogs or something so crossing my fingers also if I speak a little weird um 
my allergies are really in full swing today it's so annoying so I took my allergy meds but they take a little while to kick in but I wanted to update you guys on a few things first of all yesterday like full of good surprises actually happened one of them being that um in school I was nominated well nominated I won the award for the highest average in my class and for some random reason my school actually sent a check as a like reward for it which is super exciting it's not like the huge like a the huge amount but it's still like pretty nice and I think I'm gonna either put it towards books or um, a new like game of, of some kind maybe I wanted to buy a used uh, Wii U for the longest time so I think I might use that money towards that and buy it next week or books or both I don't know and yeah my sister also bought me these stunning and so like ugh, so yummy uh, macaroons macaroons is like my all-time favorite dessert but where I'm from it's like hard to get good macaroons so I was very excited that she purchased a few of them for me I have one in my lunch today and I'm super excited um, tonight I'm going to be alone so it's going to be a very chill night I'm exhausted today I woke up feeling like I was rammed into by like three different buses and then just like haven't slept for a week so mm, yay uh, I think I'm gonna get like McDonald's on the road back home um, just to eat while I'm driving home since it takes forever anyways and then uh, I will they drive home I have dishes from yesterday's supper to do and then I think I'm just gonna read or sleep uh, it happened to me last Friday too where I was just exhausted and I fell asleep at like 8 so I feel like it's gonna be the same but as a reading update sorry a bunch of people randomly came and parked in the parking lot so I stopped the clip and here I am again so as a reading update I've been reading intercepted by Alexa Martin I haven't gotten much reading done because obviously I've been busy in the past few days I'm on page like 44 so it's basically the beginning um, I'm enjoying this the only issue I have right now is that there's a little too much like girl on girl hate but other than that like it's a fine book I think their chemistry and the romance is gonna be on point we just got to like the first climax of the book and I can't wait to see where it goes I do like the writing style of this and this is like a f the first in like a companion series. The next one is called Fumble and the third is coming out this year. And yeah, hopefully I enjoy it enough to like want to pick up Fumble because I'm always looking for adult romances. But uh, my goal today would be maybe to read like 60 pages at work so during my break so that I can be um, on page 100 by the time I leave work and I'm not working with any co-workers that I usually like spend my lunch breaks with. So I think it's doable. And then maybe read like another 100 pages at home and finish this tomorrow or something. I'm really, really tired, you guys. So, yeah. This, again, is about a main character who was dating this football player for 10 years. And then it ends up, uh, she ends up figuring out that he's cheating on her. And so she leaves. And, um... We also learned that she's had, during one of their relationship breaks, like the guy broke up with her but they came back together afterwards, uh, she had a one night stand with uh, a boy named Gavin and he's the new quarterback in the Mustangs team where her boyfriend um, is like playing baseball and I think it's their romance, like Gavin and Marley, our main character's romance after like the rekindle after obviously the big breakup with her original boyfriend so yeah it's fine I don't really have any complaints other than I feel like there's a little bit too much girl on girl hate here but we'll see how the story develops maybe it goes away maybe it's like confronted we shall see so that's it for now I'm gonna go eat breakfast and go into work hello friends it's now like almost 10 p.m. still on Saturday and I think I'm going to go to bed but I have a few updates for you guys one being that I finally finished, well finally finished, I finished Intercepted by Alexa Martin and I give it, I'm giving it like 3.75. I usually don't give like 0.25s or 0.275s but I think that this one is really justified in the sense that I loved the romance and like the chemistry between our main characters and I loved the friendships but I feel like a few of the things in here were not like necessary. Like. Our main character uses like hashtags in like her mental monologue. I'm not a fan of that and I feel like there's just a little too much 
uh, girl hate, like from one girl to another. And although like it does advance the plot and it makes sense, I'm still like not 100% a fan of that. So these are the only two like problematic elements in here, but for the rest I really loved it. The I main character is diverse and she confronts a lot of different um, issues and I just think it was a really great read. Loved the main male interest and I just, it was really, really fun to when you read and I do really want to pick up Fumbled now, so might pick that up soon. We shall see. And the third one, as I mentioned before, in this series is coming out in December, I think, so that's cool. I do have a package that I wanted to open. Um, basically, I've been feeling like absolute shit. Um, my head really hurts, my body is like very tense and it's sore and if I don't get better, like I'm gonna go to work tomorrow, but if it keeps going that way, I'm not gonna go in on Monday because I feel like the same kind of shitty I did when I had bronchitis, so. But yeah, um, basically to motivate myself to finish all my chores, like all the dishes from the evening we had yesterday for like six people without a dishwasher, I had to do all of those and like fold some laundry and do that kind of stuff and take care of my pets. I told myself when I was done I could open my package but then I ended up reading like the last 100 and something pages of Intercepted because I had read like 200 pages at work so we're gonna open it now. And da, 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 da. Let me put this somewhere. I got a used but like very good copy of um what is this? There's just like a little sticker on it. Dating You Hating You by Christina Lorne. I think this is one of like their uh like least recent novels, but I'm starting to collect when was this one? Oh 2017, so it's not that old. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't pass it up because usually this paperback goes for approximately like 20 or 22 dollars Canadian, and with taxes I paid like 10 dollars. So I knew I wanted to read more adult romances, and this one is about like uh, two main characters who work in the Hollywood industry, and I think um, they meet and obviously they form this relationship, but then they realize they have the same work. And they're like, whatever, we'll try to make it work until they're like two companies um, like get together and they're both fighting for the same position. You know, office romance kind of thing. I want to pick it up soon, but that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Like I have, let's look at my shelf, shall we? I have like a bunch of different books I kind of want to get to, like Red, White, and Royal Blue I want to finish because I started it like a few, like maybe a month ago now, never got around to finishing it. Um, I also have whoop, uh, this, hmm, the color isn't, uh, Brothers of, I can't talk, I'm out of breath, uh, Brothers South of Mason Dixon by Abby Glines, which is a sequel, well, companion novel to Brother, uh, Boys of Southern, I can't talk, which is the sequel to, uh, Boys South of Mason Dixon. There's also Sorcery of Thorns I want to read, but I'm not sure if I'm in the mood for, like, fantasy or contemporary or adult romance. And we have a little furry friend over here who wants to say hello. Look at that cutie pie. So, yeah, I need to look at my bookshelves. So yeah, I need to look at my bookshelves and I'll let you guys know what I read next. I don't think I'm going to do any more reading tonight. Um, I really feel like crap so I think I'm just going to rest. And I do have to wake up again at 5 tomorrow and do it all over again. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. morning you guys it is now Monday and I did end up calling off work today to get to rest and feel a little bit better so hopefully that will do it for me but I wanted to come here and close up the weekend reading vlog and just update you guys on the reading I have done and basically it is Monday it's like 9 a.m. right now and I do want to upload this vlog today and there's a lot of editing that needs to go into it so 
I did end up continuing red, white, and, red, white, and royal blue. I don't know why this is so hard for me to say, but I'm now on page 197, which means I basically read 120 pages at work yesterday, and this is so good. Um, I had started this in Mexico, and I wasn't really feeling the third person point of view so I went on to read all my books I had like in first person and whatever and I was like you know I think I'm just not in the mood for it let's come back to it I'm so happy I did you guys this is a freaking gem like I understand everybody's hype around it because this is as much of a fluffy and cute book as it is like tackling important like social issues about race and it has like commentary on finding out your sexuality and it's just such an important book but then it also has this kind of smutty side so it's like all the things I like in YA and adult romances put together this is definitely like new adult because they're in like the college age spectrum but holy shit like this is definitely one of my favorite new adult books I've ever read and I'm even like only halfway through I think it can only get cuter from here but I really love the relationship I like how Alex is really struggling to fight like at the at first to figure out like what exactly he is quote unquote and that's just it was so great to me to see that and I feel like it's not something that's explored a lot like the time where you come to realize what your sexuality is or like start to question it and I feel like it was done in such a great way I love the banter between Alex and Henry and I just can't wait to finish this so if you guys want to see my final thoughts on this do check out my next reading vlog because this is obviously what I'm going to read and finish today since I have the day off and yeah and I'm also going to read maybe this time by Casey West in my next vlog so catch me on the flip side you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next vlog